Hello everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Walls. I have another whiskey today for this new style of video, the neck pour, and it's one from Talisker. So it's going to be a smoky, peaty island scotch. And this is one that I've wanted to get my hands on for a long, long time now. So in the UK, this whiskey is £55 and never seems to go on an offer. Um, I'm currently in Germany, actually, uh, which is why the background's different. I, you've probably seen the, if you've seen the last video, which was the Ardbeg Cory Reckham, you'll know why I'm here with the new with the new background here, which I'm actually starting to really like. Might have to get one of these chairs. The whiskey in question is the Talisker Port Root, and that's said correctly. I know it's it's quite hard to pronounce, but I think it's called Port Root. And this one is going to be a Talisker finished in port uh, red wine casks. So they say notes of port drenched dark fruits, welcoming sweet smoke. Sounds good. Th this is a whiskey that I really, really wanted. Um, so why have I just bought it now? Well, in Germany, actually, there's some really good prices still um, to be found for some whiskies. Some are more expensive than in, in the UK, but um, this one, I bought a couple actually. And this is one of them. Um, I, I picked it up for 38 euros, which is around 34 pounds. And it's 55 pounds in England. So a big saving, big saving, definitely. 55 pounds is roughly 64, 65 euros. And I picked it up for 38. So like you're talking a good 40% cheaper. So it was, it was, I, I wasn't planning on buying a whiskey, but it was at the point where it would be rude not to. Oh, it's a good pop. Okay. Smells promising off the initial cork. As you might expect, very sweet. That's a nice sweetness though. If you've ever had whiskey finished in port casks, you will know there's a real distinct difference between cherry casks and port casks. Even though going in at first, you, you might not uh, understand There'll be too much difference, just slight differences, but the sweetness is just something else entirely. I always get, a, it always seems with port cask influence for me, a little bit sweeter, but it verges on less red fruits than a normal sherry cask might. But I do tend to get a bit more nut influence, like caramelised nuts with a little bit of a lighter red fruit. So that, that that could be something like a fig. Still, still red fr fruit um, influence on the nose. What I would say on the nose is it's not too sticky. It uh, it runs a little bit thin. So maybe this is quite a young whiskey. But you're not really picking up alcohol notes. So I I just said that just to be a little bit pedantic. It's nothing to be concerned about. Hopefully not anyway. On to the taste. Oh, if you haven't already and you like the videos, please do click a like on the video and don't forget to cl click the subscribe button down below. That really helps the channel grow. Red fruits, apricot figs, caramelized nuts. With, and, and it really is a sweet smoke. This is not going to give you any Isla characteristics or even if you've had other Taliskas, the Talisker 10, for instance. It's a sweeter kind of smoke, but you're, you're not getting much of the saltiness or the brininess off the nose here. Definitely huge cask influence on this whiskey. Anyway, on to the taste. That was nice. A little bit woody which if you've had Talisker's before, you, uh, you, you're likely to expect. But I got almost a little bit of like a dried raisin. Nutty again. Nutty, woody, bit of dried raisin. But then also some red fruits. It was, it was, that was quite nice. Just a lovely sweet smoke on this whiskey though. I don't know if sitting back here affects the audio. I think it might.
Do you know, I'm really looking forward. I know just the whiskey that I'm going to review this to. I could, of course, review it to um, the Leychik uh, Riar cask, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to review this to another Talisker, one that I recently bought, the Distillers Edition, because that one's very sweet. Both the same proof, actually, 45.8%. The colour definitely seems like it could be coloured. Seems just a little bit darker than it, a natural uh, finish would be, but again, it's not. It's not like a Laphroaig sherry cask where they're dark red and it's just clear as day. They're coloured. I'll show you the colour again on the bottle. So, it's it's not really picking it up, but it is a little bit lighter than it appears on camera. So, could be either, but I'd assume coloured. And chill filtered. This is a good whiskey, but I've got to be honest, because I was so so much looking forward to this whiskey for so long, it maybe doesn't live up to that expectation that I had of it. And also, I think off memory going from that previous Talisker, it's a very different experience. I think that one's a lot more sweet and thick and sugary. And this one does run a little bit thin. I'm not going to say there's an ethanol kick to the to the end of it, but it does taste maybe a little bit younger than that one. So um, I, I'm looking forward to doing that review, actually. Of course, I'll be spending time with this whiskey over the coming weeks, month or so, and then I'll sit down and review the two together uh, when I'm back in England. Okay, guys, just a quick one. I just I want to keep these videos uh, shorter than the main reviews, the more in-depth reviews. And um, I think promising, especially since it's 38 euros in Germany. Um, for that price, I think it's a steal. I think it's really good. I think for the 55 pounds, 65 euros price in the UK, um, just hold fire on that. Wait for the full review um, because the distiller's edition is around that price anyway. So I think it would be a good review for you guys to watch if you are interested in getting a sweet Talisker. Um, similar price, but one is definitely better than the other. So I look forward to doing that review. If you guys are looking forward to that review as well, please do uh, like, click on like on the video, drop a comment, and um, please do click the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Wall.